Thanks, Ralph. Love is in the air and wedding season is upon us. Or is it? Over the weekend, a video of a young man objecting at his best friend's wedding went viral on TikTok. The source of the video remains unknown, but commenters are saying that it might be an industry plant from local divorce lawyers in the area. Since then, hashtag leave him at the altar Val and hashtag sunsets are overrated have been trending. Here's a clip. I object. I'm sorry Val, I'm just, I'm still trying to figure out why you're standing in front of a sunset on your wedding day when you hate sunsets. No, she does. She does. She, uh, she thinks they're overrated. I'm Val, um, you've probably seen that video by now, it's, it's from my wedding. <laughs> Spoiler alert, I went through with it. Uh, Robbie the third and I are, we're married. Uh, oh, sorry, uh, the ocean's, the ocean's kind of loud, I hope it's not annoying. We're in Cabo on our honeymoon. I honestly, I, I wasn't even going to dignify that video with the response, but um, you tagged me in it hundreds of times, so um, Oh, thanks, babe. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. How long is this gonna take? What's that? I need the oh, we actually, uh, Robbie needs the penthouse for a conference call. The, the our honeymoon. It's kind of like a also a work trip. We actually we aren't sure who recorded and uploaded this video. We think it was a disgruntled musician. Um, he didn't want to have to play Mambo Number no. Five, um, but Robbie insisted. We think it was him, and he's also the one responsible for that incredibly corny music cue that. I mean, even I got a little choked up. Let's get into it. I'm still trying to figure out why you're standing in front of a sunset on your wedding day when you hate sunsets. For yeah, the photos. Does. I she thought does. it would she, make uh, for better photos. She and it, it, um, right? it did. <laughs> sunsets are overrated, but those little tracks that planes leave in the sky, those she loves. Yeah, I feel the need to say here that I do not support pollution. I think I said that to Jacob when we were like drunk on a rooftop after this some of the best Thai food I've ever had in the city. Honestly, if your lover was on that plane, right? It's like this path marked in the sky of them leaving your life. Let's keep going. Don't get me wrong, dude. Like, you're great, okay? But what does he know about you, Val? He is. He's probably I mean, really? Great. Does he know that you put mustard on your oatmeal or that you only own one fork? <sighs> Yes, okay. Um, first of all, you can stop buying forks on our wedding registry. I have um, <laughs> I've actually been banned from William Sonoma and Sir Latab for life because of that. Um, you've completely wiped out their, their inventory. And the mustard on oatmeal, which I've literally received hate emails about. First of all, don't knock it till you try it. No, Robbie did not know about that until this moment at our wedding. He was disgusted, but also, after the ceremony, he took me aside and he told me that he actually spreads a thin layer of ketchup on his toast every morning. I never said that. That's just so, so there I'm really is a shoe for tomatoes for every. Let's keep, the room, we're gonna keep going. We're almost done. Call babe. soon. Does he know that your rose tattoo actually used to be like a really shitty portrait of Frodo's face from your yes, Lord of the Rings he face? He saw that after our first date, and I told him, and he thought it was charming. And then he had never seen the trilogy. Uh, the Lord of the Rings trilogy, so I actually showed it to him. He didn't really, well, we never made Those it through the first movie. Suck. Um, oh my god, they're so boring. They're not for everyone, I guess. Uh, let's keep going. Has he seen your Eiffel Tower paintings? Okay, because I have. I know all those things about you. They're, uh, my, they're my favorite things. Yeah, my Eiffel Tower paintings. I did show them to you first, Jacob, of anyone. Uh, you know, I was afraid they were ugly, and I'm not a good painter. I just do it for fun. Um, helps me to make sense of things sometimes. And I knew that if I showed it to you and you thought that they were ugly, you wouldn't make me feel bad about it, you know? And you didn't. You just kind of celebrated that I made something. I remember that. That was after that, oh my god, Jen's baby shower. <laughs> that crazy baby shower. Um, anyway, but what you what you don't know, Jacob, and, and, and all of you that I'm talking to, is that I showed Robbie those paintings too, and then he had a favorite, and I actually had it framed for our first year anniversary, which he uh, flew me to Perry for, and I gave it to him there. Um, 
and then he put it up for auction at the charity that he runs. Uh, it's for underprivileged kids, kids who have blown through their entire trust funds before they turn 30. Uh, and it went for like, for what, like 30K? Yeah, it was like they, barely one Yeah, so it, 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 it went to a good cause. Um, so, you know, not everything is what it seems on social media, you know? Uh, there's only a little bit left here. Yeah, I gotta take this call. Oh, yeah, 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 sorry, I'll get out of here. Okay, sorry, we're in the bathroom now. I gotta take that call. There's only, there's only a tiny tail end of the video left, but Robbie's publicist told me to do it all, so there's no room for doubt. <laughs> okay, I really wanna get to the beach, so let's Favorite. Go. You're my favorite person, Val. And I couldn't just sit here while you stood in front of, quite frankly, an obnoxious sunset and settled for anything less. I object. I forgot how it ended. Um. Okay, so, um, yeah. I'm his favorite person, he's mine. You know, but that's just a, fa that's a fact. That doesn't mean. Shit. Um. Robert? Valerie, I told you I'm on a conference call. I don't care, we need to talk.